seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Now, what are these things? These things are what we wear, what we eat, what we drink. All these things pretty much consume our days on a daily basis, but God is speaking to a particular people and he wants you to identify yourself. Are you a Gentile? Because in verse 32, it tells, it tells us that the Gentiles seek such things. But if you're not a Gentile, then why are you seeking these things? Christ is also telling us what to seek and how to seek. It's telling us to seek first the kingdom of God, meaning making sure that in our minds, the priority thing is God and his kingdom. Now, what is the kingdom? The kingdom, kingdom. If God is the king, and the kingdom is where the king rules, where the king dwells. If we focus our attention to where God is, then he'll in turn make sure that he takes care of our needs. That is so comforting for me. The fact that I'm praying for my bills to be paid, the fact that I'm praying for my family to be provided for, God is saying, seek me, focus on me, put your mind, put your heart in heavenly places and I will in turn take care of your needs. Now this, this passage is not particularly about needs for, for those who are on the prosperity messages. This is really about God and it's about focusing on him and him alone. So again, focus on him. If his eye is on the sparrow, then know that God has his eye on you. I'm Ezekiel with P4CM.